Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's session is Interference Suppression and Power Control Techniques. Uh, we'll first discuss the Interference Suppression. What are the sources of interference? See, make the thing simple. Interference means some adjacent channels are causing a mixing of signals in the existing system that is basically an interference so what are the sources of interference as far as cellular system is concerned so it may happen that the another mobile which is in the same cell is causing interference causing mixing of signals or the call which is in progress in the adjacent cell can also cause interference or the another base station bs stands for base station operating in the same frequency band can produce interference then it may happen that there are there is some non-cellular system which is leaking out certain energy and that leaked energy enters into the cellular band so it again causes interference broadly there are two types of interference one is co-channel interference and another is adjacent channel interference as far as this co-channel interference is concerned we have studied frequency reuse technique recall the things frequency reuse means number of cells are using the same frequency so it may cause the interference that is basically co-channel interference co-channel means the interference caused between the two channels which are which are operating in the same frequency because of the frequency reuse technique second is adjacent channel interference it is basically the adjacent frequency band used by another cells which is causing interference that is adjacent channel interference as far as this part is concerned uh, i mean uh, frequency reuse then co-channel interference adjacent channel interference i have already uploaded the video uh, in the earlier sessions related to this interference please do watch that video for the detailed discussion so this is about the sources of interference and types of interference in the cellular system Next part is power control methods. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. What is the necessity of power control or what is a power control and what are its different types? See, power control means we can control the transmitted power of base station or mobile station. So it will be helpful for reducing the interference effect. So definition of this power control technique is it is basically an algorithm or it is a protocol or it is a technique method which is used in cellular system in order to adjust the transmitted power of MS or BS that means mobile station or base station so that the interference can be reduced. So this is basically used to reduce down the interference. If you reduce the transmitted power of base station or mobile station, then battery life can be improved as well as the capacity of the system can be improved. Basically, there is one term which is called SIR, that is signal to interference ratio, S by I ratio. So, if you adjust this signal to interference ratio, that means if you adjust the transmitted power, then SIR, that is signal to interference ratio is improved and naturally the capacity of system is improved. If you adjust this signal to interference, that means if we improve by using this power control method, this ratio S by I, signal to interference ratio, then we can make use of lower frequencies uh, for the frequency reuse techniques. Then what is the meaning of power saving? As the name indicates, we have to save the power, uh, especially of the mobile station. That means whenever not required, mobile station is suspended or in normal operations, it is semi-suspended. In semi-suspended cases, the mobile station is having limited capability so that we can save the power. Now, there are two major techniques of power saving. One is open loop power control and second is closed loop power control. Let us discuss each technique in detail. Next is open loop control system. As the name indicates, there is no feedback. So it is an open loop control system. Uh, there are two types of links. One is called uplink. That is the link from base station to the mobile station and downlink or reverse link. That is the link from mobile station to the base station. So it is used in both the links, uplink as well as reverse link, that is downlink. But there is no feedback from the base station. 
to adjust the power basically we want to adjust the transmitted power reasons we have already discussed so there is no feedback from the base station to in order to adjust the transmitting power so the transmitted power is solely or totally adjusted by the mobile station that means it depends only on the mobile unit then power from the mobile station to the base station is changing or there are many fluctuations uh, dynamic changes are there uh, as far as power from ms mobile station to base station is concerned the reasons are velocity of the mobile station then fading effect which we already discussed and distance of the mobile station from the base station now there are two parameters one is bit error rate that is ber and second is received signal strength all the way ber that is bit error rate and received signal strength is measured if the two values are above the threshold then the transmitted power is re reduced if the values are below the threshold level then the transmitted power are increased so this is the way how the open loop system works now advantages is it is the simple system and it uh, uh, quickly responds to the fluctuations disadvantages the decision is basically uh, dependent on the downlink parameters second there is a significant delay uh, between the base station and mobile station so delay is introduced in the in this system then errors are introduced because uplink and downlink systems are not correlated with each other if your next disadvantage is if you are using time division multiple access technique then the ms is operating in different time slots in that case time lag is produced so these are the advantages and disadvantages of open loop power control system now the second type of power control system is closed loop control system as the name indicates it is a closed loop system that means some feedback mechanism is used we know that in a general language feedback is a signal taken from output or signal transmitted from output to the input side so in this case base station bs takes the decision to adjust the power of mobile station ms and sends the control signal to the mobile station in order to adjust the power now base station measures the received signal quality and then it sends the signal to the mobile station to take the proper action advantages very simple uh, this closed loop system basically avoids the drawbacks of open loop system so delay is minimized errors in the power control systems are reduced and it reduces the interference more compared to the open loop system so you can use these points as a comparison between open loop and closed loop control systems so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video